Hold on to your butts, boys and girls. A little collateral damage down there <laughs> uh, with the sodas, but that's okay. We needed to water the grass a little bit. Welcome back, everybody. This is Eric here uh, with Iraq Veteran 8888. And uh, not too terribly long ago, we did a video on this little TAC-14 uh, firearm. I'm not going to bore you guys with the details. If you want to know more about this particular uh, firearm, uh, check out that particular video. But we did allude in that video that we would add a brace uh, on this particular uh, firearm just to check it out. 14-inch uh, barrel, nice and compact. Uh, this is a sweet setup. Uh, I believe Suarez Tactical makes the folding mech, and then of course it is the SB1 uh, brace. Okay, and then you've got a Magpul AK grip that they use on this particular uh, arrangement. So that's pretty cool. It adds a lot of functionality to the TAC-14. That's something that we said that we would kind of play around with. So uh, yeah, pretty cool and definitely allows you to handle a lot more stout ammo out of this thing without uh, abusing yourself too bad. We are going to group some buckshot uh, with this gun. I'm kind of curious to see what a cylinder bore 14-inch barrel can do uh, with buckshot. So we're going to start out with some Federal Flight Control 9 pellet out of the little TAC-14 here. And this little thing is loud, son. Let me tell you, loud. Loud and proud, okay? Let's see what it's all about. Okay. All right, this is the flight control wad, 1,325 foot per second, nine pellet. We're gonna group it at a very sedate distance right here. I'm just gonna go on this plate on the right and just see how this little 14 inch barrel will hold up. Nice. That group's really nice. Just a little bit to the right there, but not too terrible at all. Whew, packs a wallet. And that was two and three quarter. Tell you what, as if we couldn't get any further down the rabbit hole, let's break out some three inch, shall we? All right, this is three inch, double alt, 15 pellet, moving at 1210. This is heavier payload. Getting up into three inch territory. See if it'll hold all, all four of them. Barely, you can barely get that. So it will hold four three inch shells in the in the tube and one in the chamber makes for a five shot with three inch shells. Here we go. All right, the plate right next to it. Ah, we haven't even gotten to the rounds. It's got the dang bear on the box yet, people. So we're, we're going to get there, okay? Ah, all right, here we go. Son, Ooh -wee. that knocked my hat sideways. I felt my teeth rattle. I think I might have to go to the dentist, man. Get my teeth looked at. Woo wee. Whew. Son. Now, I'm gonna tell you, man, I've done some dumb things in my life. Now, all I can really assume is that if you do have to use this firearm in a self-defense situation, that you probably, hopefully the adrenaline is gonna be rushing, you're not really gonna know what's going on, and then you won't really feel anything. But when you make a conscious effort to shoot this thing, you better be hanging on. This sucker is really not terrible though. You certainly, without the brace on there, you certainly would not take just that little doll's head on there and be able to shoot it with that amount of precision, and you certainly wouldn't wanna do it just from a comfort level. The brace at least makes it tolerable to shoot with the higher powered uh, stuff and makes it where you can aim it a little bit better. So that's definitely an essential upgrade, uh, in my opinion, for the TAC-14. Uh, I have handled some of the Mossberg uh, shorties and uh, they seem like they're pretty good too. I may end up checking out one of those too just to see what they're all about, but not a bad gun. Um, I know one thing that, uh, you know, John was complaining about, uh, this is our guy John's gun, he was complaining about the finish kind of rusting and these parkerized finishes 
on some of these uh, Remingtons, they really do flash rust easy if you don't keep them oiled. So I think the next thing that we're gonna do is probably get some Duracoat or Cerakote on this thing uh, just to help with some of the exterior corrosion issues. And I think for the money, he'll have himself a pretty good little road gun. Uh, you know, pretty cool. And we have to get to the bear. Okay, we haven't done that yet. Now, if, get that out of here, if you're ever in a situation where a motorcycle gang of bears is coming after you, oh man, he's snarling on the box. He's got like spit and saliva coming out of his mouth when he's snarling and everything. Like, they didn't put Winnie the Pooh on the box. They put a mean, raging, charging bear on the box. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it's funny, too, that they actually went out of their way to make the picture black and blue, just like your shoulder's going to be when you're done shooting this. Freaking sadistic. <laughs> ah, all right. You going to shoot them sodas? I'm going to shoot something. Shoot them sodas with that thing. Shoot them sodas with that thing. That should be a blue song. Maybe. Probably gonna be a rap song by the time I'm done because I ain't gonna be able to say nothing and my teeth are knocked out. All right, we got some sodi pops. Oh, here we go. I don't know where it's going. Let me aim a little low, it might be going high. Well, I saw you took out some some of the tree down there. Whoa, those are kind of stiff ejection. Ooh. Ooh that's Where'd a stout in? load. Let me, uh, well, I noticed that buckshot was patterning maybe off to the right a little bit. Let me just try holding to the left just a hair. See if maybe that's what it is. Whew. All right, I'm going to put the last one on the plate just to see where it's at. That's highly, highly unpleasant. You got to do it again because you got to kill them sodas. Yeah, I know. I may have to hit them with buckshot. We'll see. All right. <laughs> Looks like it hit four or five inches to the right. You don't want to be there. You just, you don't want no part of that. I don't care who you are. All right. Five more rounds of buckshot. <laughs> and I'm going to need a trip to the dentist to get my jaw realigned. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, the, the, the bear slugs aren't really helping me too much because I'm not, I'm not sure where they're going, but I know where the buckshot's going. So I think these sodas are about to get it. God, man. Yeah, it's, it's favoring to the right here. Try those it true it balls. is favoring to the right. I had a box of true balls in the truck. True balls? Oh, yeah. 1,600 feet per second ounce of lead. It is favoring to the right, isn't it? Let's uh try, like, shoot one at the that plate over there, the D28 on the left. On and the just left. See where they're at, yeah. See where they're at real quick. High and right. Yeah, in the dead center? Yeah. All right, take out the sodas. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that one. It just sat down on the bench. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. I tell you what. I got two slugs left and just enough oomph left in me to shoot something. I'm gonna try to pop a few back to 75, see if I can get on the gong back there. We'll see. I'm gonna have to move over just a little bit here. Shoot. Whew. Well. What's this video called? Ultimate truck gun? Punishment? Ultimate punishment? <laughs> Good grief. All right. So the verdict. 
the brace does add a good bit of functionality to the setup. You start stuffing some big boy loads in it, you're still gonna you're still gonna work for it. Okay, it is a, a tiny little gun. It's lightweight. It's a short barrel. Uh, I wouldn't say that it's completely unbearable. Uh, I wouldn't say it's definitely like taking the kids to the park for ice cream. Okay, uh, you definitely wouldn't want to hand this to your 14 year old. I don't know. Maybe you would. Maybe you got a 14 year old who's uh, uh, maybe up in Tennessee where they're giving them all that water it makes them grow nine feet tall like hickok and all his his people up Un there unbearable is that a pun <laughs> i don't know yeah <laughs> yes it's unbearable wink wink it, it's really not that bad guys it, it's you know if you're using stuff like this rio these bird loads and stuff or just plinking having fun at the range you know maybe cut shells things like that not terrible at all you start stepping up into some of the nuclear loads which we purposefully uh, you know, wanted to put through this gun just to show you guys the amount of recoil you can expect. Definitely <laughs> smack me in the jaw a couple of times pretty good. Uh, my shoulder's going to be feeling it, but you know what? No pain, no gain. Guys, remember, in physics, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Every uh, action has an equal or opposite reaction. Okay, so for that much power to be going down range out of this light of a rig with this short of a barrel, something's got to give. You have to back this gun up a bit. There's, there is no such thing as a free lunch in physics, guys. So thank you for watching today's video. I wanted this to be just kind of a quick and fun, hopefully entertaining uh, kind of uh, second look at the TAC-14 with the little brace on it. Um, you know, John got this thing set up the way he wanted, and I figured it'd be fun to give it another try and see what it was all about. I can tell you, without this, I would not be able to hit those targets the way that I did. So it definitely helps with acquiring and picking up targets and getting it on target quicker and managing the gun during recoil. So thank you guys for watching today's video. We hope that you uh, enjoyed watching me punish myself and the bear's laughing because I missed him four times. That's okay. But guys, thank you so much for watching today. Thank you for supporting us to Man Cans. Uh, thank you to all our Patreon supporters who support us on Patreon each month. And thank you to the guys who buy shirts over on Forge from Freedom. All of those funds go directly to supporting the channel. Thank you guys for supporting us and for believing in us. We'll see you guys next time. I'm going to go get me a bear now. And maybe an aspirin and a little bit of ice. See ya.